In 1935, Madhushala, his epic poem, established him as a poet of inner depth and philosophical insight. A reason good enough for his son Amitabh to take up the onus of getting his works translated in English. It's such a vast uh, uh, area and it's such a huge uh, sp uh, span of uh, time and it's such a vast uh, array of emotions. Uh, it would be the most difficult thing for even the die-hard uh, critics of literature to be able to pick anything, any one aspect out from that, let alone somebody like me who's, uh, who's a novice in this. This week, the father could not make it owing to ill health, but the son made it a proud moment for the family when the English abridgment of Harivansh Rai Bachchan's original four volumes of autobiography in Hindi was released at a function in the capital organized by publishers Penguin India. I found it extremely honest, very detailed. The amount of uh, um, detailing that he went into uh, in tracing the origins of our family uh, is truly amazing. I find that the kind of detailing that he's given is, it's almost as though uh, the events were happening in front of you. It's, it's that precise and so exact. The book titled In the Afternoon of Time has been translated by Dr. Rupert Snell. The release of the book was preceded by reading of extracts by Amitabh in Hindi and Dr. Snell in English. In the Afternoon of Time is not only a portrait of provincial life in the first decades of this century, but also an account of the personal struggles, the heartbreaks and euphoric moments in the life of an author. There is the earlier portion of, 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 the, of a young man and the enthusiasm of youth, and that is so evident in, in, in the works of Madhushala. There is the, uh, the early tragedies in his life, the loss of his wife, uh, the death of uh, near and dear ones, uh, which uh, uh, brought about poems and books like Ekant Sangeet. Uh, his, his marriage, uh, his second marriage and, uh, to my mother, and the excitement and joy, the exuberance of life almost beginning again for him. Nirka uh, Nirman Pir, that's the whole, uh, the rebuilding of the nest. Harivan Shrai's literary genes may not have trickled down to the second and third generation Bachchans, but with a family keen to present and highlight his work to the world at large, his legacy is in safe hands. <laughs>